Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Chris um, and what I have to show you guys today um, is I have a question and based out of curiosity um, is what you're looking at here I'm trying to figure out what it is so um, I'm going to give you guys a little view of this and uh, tell you a little bit of uh, history about it and where I found it um, but if anyone can tell me out there um, where this thing came from or anything, it'd be much appreciated if you could just leave a comment um, or tell me what you think it is because I have no idea. It might be something very common um, and I just haven't thought of it. But anyways, let me tell you, start off by saying um, this to me seems like some sort of egg. Um, we found this object in uh, Oregon. My uh, family found that in Oregon um, off a of canyon beach, I believe. Um, and they also found many, um, like the, uh, the glass um, balls and stuff like that, uh, I believe that come in from Japan and stuff off of uh, fishermen's nets and stuff, I believe. Um, but anyways, uh, we found this object along with that stuff, uh, and uh, to me it looks like an egg that's been, uh, been stuck in sand or, or some type of uh, basalt or something for a very, very long time. Um, and, uh, to me, if I were to guess, I would guess this is either some type of either maybe a, a bird egg or some kind of fish egg or something that I don't, I don't even know about. Um, because to me, when I look at it, I don't understand what it is, um, based on the egg shape. Um, and also the way it exited, uh, seems like, uh, it's, it's different from any other egg. Um, the egg's very well intact, um, as you can see, and the eggs also, or what I call the egg, um, is, um, let me see if I can get a better view here, but is very symmetrical, if you can see that there, um, the same thing that goes on one side is on the other. Um, the interesting thing here that I find pretty interesting is how it either exited or how it uh, received air or food supply or whatever. Um, and it actually comes down to the hole inside. As you can see, everything inside, if you can see anything inside, is very symmetrical to the outside. Um, but as you can tell, there's a hole at the bottom. And it goes straight through. And uh, to me, that's interesting that... I mean, this is definitely very, very old, um, at least I think it is, and uh, it's perfectly intact. Um, either something fell into the ocean floor or this thing was encased in the ocean floor or something, um, but I just find it interesting, and, uh, you know, here's the smooth outside, and there's that hole in the bottom, and uh, as you can see, it goes straight through. It's not very, I mean, this object isn't very big. I don't know how relative it is, uh, how, how good of, a, of an idea you can get from the video. But anyways, it's, uh, you know, maybe two and a half inches wide, um, maybe two to three and a half inches long or something like that. I don't know. Um, it doesn't weigh a lot. Um, but to me, it just looks like a, some kind of egg or a shell of some sort. Um, but like I said, if anyone needs any more, uh, if, if anyone can tell me one what it is, and if you need any more information to kind of get a better idea or more videos, uh, this is just taken off of my iPhone. Um, but I'm trying to uh, get an idea of what this thing is, and once and for all, <laughs> I've asked uh, some some of my um, teachers in class throughout the years uh, when I went to school and everything, and uh, they didn't have a really good answer for me. Um, they they believed it was an egg of some sort, but they couldn't tell me what species or anything like that. Um, so yeah, if anyone can leave me a comment, let me know. That'd be great. Um, thank you.